It is unchristlike to not protect your neighbor as well as yourself. God tells us that our bodies are a temple to be protected. That does not mean that you are to protect that temple unless Facebook and talk radio freaks tell you otherwise. And it's time to turn that spigot off. It's time to deprogram the cult leaders. Wow. Does this chick understand just how fucking creepy and totally culty she sounds right now? There's a lot to go over here, but first, take a quick moment to check out this free offer for my viewers. Now, inflation isn't something that we've heard of in a while, is it? But last month, the inflation rate in the US had the highest rise in the last 29 years. You heard me right, the last 29 years. You need to put up a sort of inflation dam to stop it from wiping out the value of your savings and investments. It's not too late. Noble Gold specializes in retirement planning and IRAs, so their team of experts is your first step. This month, they're offering a one ounce American Eagle solid silver proof coin with every IRA or 401k taken out. Not many people can relax with inflation this high, but like thousands of others, with Noble Gold, you'll be okay. Visit our website at noblegoldinvestments.com or just click the link in the description or pinned comment. Here's some advice. When you're part of a profession and on a network that actively pushes for Marxism in our institutions and communism in America, and now you're advocating for rounding up and re-educating your political opposition, it's probably time to stop and rethink your beliefs. Strange that it was totally fine when these very same people all advocated for not taking the vaccine because orange man bad. If Trump were still president, do you really believe that the Democrats or their state media would be pushing for people to get the vaccine? And on that point, it's not just Republicans or Trump supporters who aren't getting the vaccine. It's people of all political persuasions, in fact, mostly people in the middle, and the biggest group of people just don't trust the government. And that includes a lot of black Americans. But this very same network walks on eggshells and makes excuses when they're talking about black people not getting the vaccine. There's certainly no talk of rounding them up and re-educating them. There's also a big lack of trust based in part because of the Democrat media's constantly shifting standards that seem to be based totally on partisan politics. Remember, it was killing grandma if you went out and protests of the lockdowns, but BLM riots are perfectly okay because somehow they don't spread coronavirus like the lockdown protests did. The state's governor says she's concerned about possible racist elements among the crowd. These protesters, are they hindering the state's ability to contain the virus in any way? These protests, they do undermine the effort and it's very clearly a political statement. I was really struck by the fact that you've described the protests as some of the worst racism and awful parts of our history and I think it's important for us to as public health experts to lead with the science and the science tells us that this is a virus that does not discriminate it doesn't care why it is that people are gathering but it does care about the conditions under which they're gathering so outdoors much safer than indoors wearing masks obviously much safer than not wearing masks and I also in this case would distinguish between the behavior of the participants while at protests versus rallies at study looking at over 300 cities where protests right. occurred and they did not find surges of infections tied to these protests finally people are free to make their own decisions they're not basing this all on what they saw on fox news or what they heard from trump hell trump is out there telling people to get the vaccine um there are millions of americans um uh, almost all white almost all republicans who somehow need to be deprogrammed there it, 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 it's as if they don't they 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 are members of a cult right right says the guy calling for people to be rounded up and deprogrammed based on their skin color and political affiliation yeah we've never seen anything like that in history before i mean it just couldn't get any more obvious who and what these people are Do you have any idea how we <laughs> so how we start that process even much less complete it yeah, I, I, I don't. I'm, I'm a journalist. I certainly um, don't know how we can stop people. I know we can look to history, though. First off, you're no journalist. And if you have to constantly assert that you are, it's because you clearly aren't. And yeah, we can all look at history and see how other communists dealt with their political opposition which coincidentally, they also saw as needing deprogramming. Here we have two avowed open socialists discussing how to re-educate people they disagree with politically. It just boggles the mind. Uh, what ultimately uh, breaks that power structure in the South 
is enforcement, right? There has to be consequences. Uh, and then once you get those consequences, I think then people have to take a second look at their actions and they have to be much more uh, afraid uh, to do the types of kind of violence that we saw this week, uh, last week, the violence that we've seen building, you know, with what happened in Michigan, the violence that's being threatening now. What the f is she talking about? Did you hear what she just said? She just said that she wants to punish Trump supporters so that they'll be afraid. She says afraid to commit violence like last week. I mean, I literally have no clue what she's talking about. Is she talking about that completely manufactured plot against Whitmer? Because apparently the FBI had a hand in nearly every aspect of that so-called plot, including its inception, which means the FBI are the ones who created the plot. And you know, that's exactly why she talks in these vague generalities, ironically because she and her followers live in an alternate reality created by cult leaders. In fact, what history shows is, is not reacting, not uh, forcing accountability, only emboldens uh, those people in those movements. So I think there has to be some real accountability. Um, there has to be some enforcement of the laws. And then after that, I think, is when you can start trying to build reconciliation. Accountability, huh? I, I've been hearing this a lot from leftists in the media, and it's just funny because it's something we've been calling for, and we know that that's a very popular self-defense mechanism for them, is to just start accusing all of their opposition what they are actively engaged in. But yeah, accountability. You mean like accountability for all that violence and death that has come as a result of defunding the police? Or accountability for all the years worth of violence that's come from left-wing rioters who end up getting no charges and are released? All these people do is manipulate details, omit data, and cherry-pick stories to create a false narrative of widespread racism in order to incite all the violence that we've witnessed for the last couple years. Where's the accountability for all that? What we know is that that uh, racism, that nationalism was created as a tool of economic exploitation. It was created to uh, exploit a black labor force, but also a poor white labor force, where white people will vote against their own economic interests uh, because it means that they are still above the lowest person on the totem pole, which under Donald Trump, of course, would be a Muslim, would be Latinos, and would be black Americans. If someone doesn't do what I want them to do, it means they're going against their self-interest. Oh, oh, and they're racist too. I don't know, maybe, perhaps, we're all opposing communism in America because we all know that going down that road will lead to no economic success for anybody. Not to mention oppression and violence, which they're signaling right now they're ready to do. We're all here, after all, because they're seriously discussing the detention and re-education of their political opposition. Make sure to hit that like button and leave a comment on your way out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.